right guys, in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to form firmware upgrade or downgrade your Amazon Fire TV. Now, um, there is some prerequisites to this and I will go over all that. So first of all, we're gonna start on your device. So let's go into your device and start going through some of the prerequisites you're going to need to do to be able to uh, upgrade or downgrade your firmware. So first things first, I'm gonna go in here into Application Manager and you can't even do this unless you have these two prerequisites met. So number one, you need to have Super Sue. So you need to have root access, okay? So you have to have this application. If you don't have it, you cannot use this firmware upgrade downgrade procedure. Along with that, you need to have BusyBox. So right here is BusyBox installer. And you need to come into the application, launch it, and go ahead and install right down here in the bottom it says install and it should have uh, asked for root permission but I've already given this thing root access so it didn't and you're installed alright so BusyBox is installed and you can't even install BusyBox there unless you have root access so that proves root access as well um, those two things are prerequisites for doing this alright so we've got those two met we have root access and we have BusyBox so we're gonna come in here to system and I'm going to go to about really quick and this is what I want to point out here is there's some good information right here so one of them is your software version so right now I'm on the 51.1.1.0 that is the software version I'm going to actually downgrade in this video you can also use it to upgrade it works either way but I'm going to downgrade to a different version so you'll see the difference when we're done downgrading alright so besides that you need to come in here to developer options and turn on ADB debugging and this works over the network and that's important because we're going to need to have that turned on to access this from our computer and then besides that in about we're going to go to network and you need to at the very top there it says IP address and you need to write down that IP address number uh, you're going to need to put that in on your computer to do this so those are our prerequisites is to have the root, the busy box installed, ADB debugging turned on, and know your IP address. Now, obviously, you probably know most of this stuff if you even have root access because you have to be able to sideload applications to even get root. So that's what we're going to leave on here. We're going to leave this thing exactly like it is right here. And I'm going to run over the computer and we're going to run a script. All right, guys, so first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download some files. And I've already kind of got them downloaded, but I'm going to show you where they're at. You're just going to come over here to rootjunkiesdl.com and you're going to click on Amazon Fire TV and then you're going to click on firmware and you're going to download this one Fire TV firmware restore tool and then you're going to pick the firmware that you want to restore to so currently I'm on the bottom one that's the newest I'm going to restore to this one which is the oldest one I have listed right here right now that's what I'm going to restore to all right so you're going to just click on them, download them. So I'll just do this one just to show you. You click on it. You don't click on it again. You wait on this screen. And right there, it just downloaded. This file super small. Um, and it just downloaded. So you're good to go right there. Okay? All right. So we've got that downloaded. Now you do the same thing. You just go uh, back a screen. And you do the same thing with the firmware. But the firmware is about half a gig. So you're going to have to give that some time to download. Now, I've already got that stuff downloaded. And I'm just going to go right into it. So you basically take the uh, firmware you uh, the restore tool and you extract it and you should have a folder that looks just like this alright so very simple easy to understand it's got the readme bat or the readme text and then this bat uh, file right here which is the Amazon Fire TV firmware installer alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the downloaded firmware we downloaded which is going to be this is the oldest one right here and we're going to copy it. I have all three firmwares right there. And we're going to paste it in here. All right, it's copying over. Perfect. Then we're going to uh, rename it. And we're going to rename the whole thing, not just, you can't leave the extension as .bin. You have to do the whole thing. So we have to do update. Uh, I got to type on the right keyboard here update dot zip and 
yes, go ahead, let it change the, um, says the extension is changing, so that's okay. And now we have something called update zip. All right, now the installer is ready to run. Very simple from here. Um, let me go ahead and uh, show you what you gotta do here. All right guys, so from here, basically you're just going to, uh, you have everything set up. You're just gonna click on the Amazon, or two Amazon Fire TV firmware installer bat. And you should come up with something that looks like this. It talks about it and it tells you where to get your IP address. And all you have to do here is enter your IP address. And I've got mine figured out already right there. Then you hit enter on your keyboard. And it just says, yes, you're connected. It kind of just proves that you're communicating with your Fire TV correctly over that IP. If you have something different than, you know, basically device listed attached, the IP address, a port number, and then your device, you're obviously not communicating right. You have an issue. But if you do, you're good to go from here. Go ahead and hit continue. And it's asking your device for root access right now. So go ahead and grant it. Mine is probably already granting it. So let's just take a quick look at that. Here we go. Everything looks good. So at this point, you're just kind of waiting. Um, it's pushing over all of the files necessary along with the whole update zip. Everything is getting pushed to the device. Um, once you've granted super user rights. So we're just waiting for that to push over so the script can complete. All right, so the script is now completed, guys, and the device is going to reboot. This will reboot it into recovery, and you can go ahead and turn off the uh, batch file, just go ahead and close the program out here. So we're just waiting for the uh, installing uh, the software. So hopefully this all goes smoothly. Alright, so it looks like the uh, install latest software is almost done. Let's just give it a second here. Alright, there is a reboot. And you see the Amazon logo. Now I did see a little bug in my script when this was running. Um, probably going to clean that up here, but hopefully everything goes smoothly. Um, let's see what we get. There is the Amazon Fire TV. Looks like it's doing another quick little uh, install. And there you go. Everything's booting up. So, let's see if I jacked it up or if it worked. <laughs> We're going to go down into settings. Go to applications. And okay, so you can see this has changed. Your interface right here has changed. That's a good thing. So this does actually make you lose root access. So you'll see here, I'll go in here and launch this really quick. And see there's no SU binaries installed. So you'll have to root all over again. But you see you kept all your applications, which is really cool. Um, and you can go ahead and just run uh, towel root again right there and get root access. Um, and then we're just going to go into system, about, and there you go, it has changed, so your software version is now downgraded. Everything went uh, smoothly. Like I said, the script had a little bug in it, which was just kind of annoying. Um, but that's it, you are fully uh, changed over now, and you have the downgraded your device. The software upgrade works exactly the same. You just pick your uh, firmware and just name it update zip and throw it in there and you're good to go. So there you go guys, that's going to be how you're going to upgrade and downgrade your Fire TV. Hope you guys like this tutorial. 
on how to do this. Uh, I had a lot of fun making the script. Uh, shout out to Matt Groff for giving me a hand with that. And uh, Fire TV News actually is where I've got the idea to, or the directions for the terminal commands and I just made them into a script so everybody can do it quite easily now. Hope you guys like it. We'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.